It's not the sound you naturally associate with the words art and gallery, but Art Core on Charnwood Street in Derby is not your average exhibition space. Yes, it's got white walls and a black carpet, but as well as being a place to hang pictures, it's a venue for making pictures too. This part of the city centre has long been a place where many different cultures and ethnic groups meet and mix, and providing a place to work together is one of the aims of the project. Its art coordinator is Rashida Sheik. We have a 70-year-old couple who come and give the time voluntarily. They enjoy painting and they come and, and work with us on our projects painting. We have uh, people from the job centre who are uh, unemployed for a certain period of time and are, are on work experience working for a certain amount of time. What we as at Artcore do is we provide that platform where not necessarily you have to be an expert in art. If, even if you have an interest in art, there's something for you to come and enjoy here. The Artcore project itself began in India in 1995 as a way of giving an outlet to aspiring contemporary artists in the city of Baroda. So it's fitting that the inaugural exhibition is made up of photographs by Rahul Gajar, who worked with Artcore way back then. He's characteristically enthusiastic about the launch and says he wouldn't have done it anywhere else. People ask me, why, why Derby? You know, why did you first show in Derby? So I say that uh, I, would, I would go into a smaller city rather than go into London because, you know, art, art is universal. Art is not, uh, you know, London or Paris or New York. Though I have shown everywhere, you know, but Derby means a lot to me. And from an established artist to someone just starting in the art world, Zyma Begum has just finished her foundation year at uni and is using Art Corps as a stepping stone. I've come here and I've met completely different people, different from different backgrounds. I've met people from who are photographers to different things to do with ICT involved, which um, as part of my A-level I've done my ICT. For me, my love in art is a career, starting to become a career as I'm starting to do my degree soon in September, so it sort of helps you to get more confidence. But it's not all art and artists. The majority of the work done here is by volunteers, some of whom have no art experience at all. The volunteer coordinator is Amandeep Sangha. Recently we had a exhibition up from a few youth defenders we worked with. We did an eight week project with them and um, all their pieces. We did different medias each week and every one of their pieces we displayed and they did a final piece which was a beautiful plastic carving piece uh, that was displayed. So, I mean, this space is really versatile. So, I mean, today is a photography exhibition but tomorrow it could be something else. Right now though, the walls are hung with haunting pictures of a nearly deserted Indian city. The black and white pictures have been been shot over the last three decades in a ruined part of Gujarat. It might seem a world away, but their creator Rahul Gajar says he has a soft spot for Derby and its potential for art. More than 150 people have turned up to me. And all of them, you know, have smiling faces. That is the most important thing. And there is no curtain in between us. Whether I'm, you know, there is no color, caste or creed. You know, everybody is embracing me like I'm their own family. I'm really very, very proud to be here and I, I think that I have made the right decision to show first in Derby, then I will take these experiences to London and I will see. That's photographer Rahul Gadja ending that report from Wesley Mallin. I, I, you know, it, it, I wish that I could embrace art more. Um, I've been around art galleries and I've been around uh, photography galleries and I've been to um, various displays and stuff. I, I, I don't get excited. I just stare and I go, mm, yeah, that's all right. And then move on to the next one. I'm like, mm, yeah, 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 I can see what they're trying to do there. But it doesn't excite me. It's not one of those things that I, I sort of really get excited by. If somebody said to me, oh, let's go to an art gallery, uh, I can't imagine going there and say, oh, I'm really looking forward to this. Because I'm going, I'm like, mm, yeah. You know, I can probably get the same sense of enjoyment from looking at the picture rail at Ikea. 8.21 is the time on BBC Radio Derby. We're going to talk arts now because a brand new art gallery has opened in Derby, but Art Core on Charnwood Street is not just a place to hang pictures. It's designed as a community hub where people can get together and create. Well, it's arts coordinator Rashita Sheikh joins me in the studio this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. So just give us an idea what goes on at Art Core. Artcore is a visual arts organization, so uh, there are people of all ages, abilities, and from different backgrounds, cultural backgrounds, coming to do 
art in in different mediums like pottery, painting, sculpture, and it's a hub. It's a place where people can go, come get together and work um, on one platform, irrespective of from where they come from. And how different is the new gallery from your old building? Oh, it's fantastic. It's it's a big place. It's it's two thousand square feet, um, and it's it's. It's, we have a, a gallery space, a community space, a studio space to work in. We have enough space for our potter's wheels and our kiln. Um, we have a meeting room. So, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. It's what, what we were really looking for. It's ideal for, for, all, for us to use, yeah. And the photographic exhibition that you've chosen to launch the new gallery is a bit out of the ordinary, isn't it? Just tell us where the images have come from. It, yes, um, the Forgotten City uh, from Chapanir Pavagad. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site from Gujarat, state of India and uh, the the photographer artist Rahul Gajja he's he's here with the exhibition um, it's it's a fantastic uh, exhibition it's a black and white archival photographs and uh, he's been documenting it over uh, over two decades um, and it's it's really art core shares a big um, it has a great connection with India, uh, where it started originally in 1995, and to enhance those connections further, working with the artists and the cultural lifestyles in both countries, we thought it would be a fantastic opportunity to get the exhibition here. How do you get people to go along? I think I was mentioning a little bit earlier that uh, when it comes to art, it leaves me a bit cold, to be quite honest. I'm not one of these that can go and probably um, form a judgment or, or give an opinion on art. Do you think you necessarily need to? Do you think that uh, art is a bit snobby in a way, that people think that they've got to go there and they've got to truly appreciate what's on offer? Not necessarily. Art is a tool of expression. Um, so it's your individual perception. So you don't have to go and say what's good about it or what's not so good about it. You can just experience it. And that, that is enough for an artist or for a viewer to, to kind of take in as an experience for themselves. Um, art, art is a medium to convey your thoughts, your expressions, tell stories. So um, you, can, you can take it as a health and well-being message or you can take it as a learning tool or you can take, take it as a community cohesion tool, I would say, to, and have art as a medium to support that. And when you've got such a fantastic facility and obviously a lot of people that want to come and join in, where does the gallery go from here? Well, that's the idea. The gallery is there for people to come and show. It provides a platform. It provides a platform to up-and-coming artists of Derby, Derbyshire, the East Midlands, nationally. It provides a platform to international artists to exhibit internationally. Say, for example, like Rahul Gajja, he's here ex get, getting his exhibition from India and brought it here. Uh, so it provides a platform to up-and-coming artists as well as established artists. And it, it kind of is a hub, is a place where people can talk about or mingle in the arts culture. Uh, Richita Sheikh from Artcore on Charnwood Street. Thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, 8.25 is the time.